Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to City Skylines Green Cities. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day, because I'm certainly excited to be back in the beautiful city of Greendale, where things, as always, are going pretty darn well. We're currently sitting on 6.8 million dollars. We have a population of 80 and one half thousand people, with a little bit of demand for residential, about medium demand for commercial, and above medium demand for industry slash offices, and we begin today at the airport for a reason. I'm not here for shiggles, as the kids say. I'm here on a mission, and that mission is to finally, finally, finally fill up the space that we have just in here, and yes, that means it's time, at long last, to start placing parking lots. And I'm quite excited about this, because I quite happen to like placing parking lots in City Skylines. It's something I do quite a lot of, so, uh, that's, that's kind of going to be most of, it's, it's not. I swear it's not going to be like all of today's episode, it's just going to be a big chunk. A big, big chunk of today's, it's not, I swear, honest. Uh, it'll, it'll not be the entire thing. We're just gonna, you know, get parking lots where they're needed, and then, you know, move on from that. We're also gonna do that with the power lines, because I figure, why not? But immediately, you know, we have two giant parking lots on either end of the airport. And I do want to come into this middle space as well, and see if I can fill it up with a few different multi-stories. I have got some regular parking lots as well, but some of these are really, really big. And some of them are really, really small, so I, d I didn't really get a good mix, is is what I'm saying. I got kind of a, a pretty poor mix of parking lots in here, and I did get more. I just, I just don't quite know where they are. Oh, there's one. Eight by six. What does that look like? It... Wow, actually, that actually, that actually, wow, that looks really good. That actually looks really good. Huh. Can we get... Do we want to get more of those? I feel like we want to get more of those, because that's that's really nice. Uh, what about a couple of those, like, by the airport? How would that look? So, like, there... Does that even make sense, having parking lots, like, right there? I don't know if it does, but I like it. Yeah, I really like that, actually. So, we're going to get a couple of those just on either end of the airport, because I can, even though it doesn't make sense. Uh, we are probably going to want rid of that road. And probably going to want to do something like, you know, get this to go where it needs to go without the road guidelines causing it to go weird. Going to need a little bit of anarchy for it, though. So up to there seems perfect. And up to there seems perfect as well. Uh, we do have a little bit of a weird thing going on just here, though. So let's just do that to sort of cap that off a little bit better. And we'll do the same just over here to cap that off a little bit better. And maybe we should do a pedestrian path just going sort of behind this thing as well. I don't know how well that works, I'll be honest. I wonder if I could select both of those and then just drag that in a little bit. Just something like that. Maybe shift it to there. Maybe shift that down to there a little bit. Just something to make it look... A little nicer, although I'll be honest, the ground being all beaten up on the parking lot and then not on the path looks a bit weird. It does look a bit weird, but I think... I think it's fine. Let's just go ahead and do the same thing on this one to uh, get it looking all even and whatnot. So up to there, and then we will grab you to about that point and in a little bit. Then bring you in a little bit as well, and bring you in just a tiny bit more. There we go. I think that does the job. I don't know if those will actually get used, though. That's kind of my worry. It does have visitors and tourists, though, so maybe... Maybe that'll get some use. Maybe it won't. What about these? Do these technically... Yeah, they technically get visitors and tourists as well, so... Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> that's so weird. It's so weird that they get visitors and tourists. I love it. Uh, we could throw a bunch of these in here. But I think those are honestly a bit much. I think they look a little excessive and a little bit... A little bit small, if anything. A little bit thin. So... Let's get rid of you. And get rid of you. 
and we'll throw this just into that spot, that spot, that spot, and that spot. And that looks like a pretty hefty amount of parking, if I do say so myself. Which means we have this area freed up to put in even more. Which I'm quite happy about. Quite happy about indeed, because it fits perfectly. Oh my god. Oh, it fits perfectly. Oh, it's like it's it's like every other Let's Play I've done all over again. Nothing but parking. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. A little bit excessive. That is the Conflict Nerd promise. <laughs> well, this is working exactly the way I wanted it to. And I'm so happy. I really am. There's so many people coming into the city to go to the parking lots. Which I know is dumb, but it makes the airport look like it's busy, and that makes me super, super happy. I've also used some pedestrian paths to just sort of accent the train track, which I know looks kind of dumb because it's got no, like, fences around it, but I still think it looks kind of neat, too. We've got some uh, pedestrian paths just going along the backs of the parking lots here and all the way up here as well. And, uh, again, I'll do some stuff with the train tracks to make them look a little more realistic eventually. Uh, but for the time being, I do think I want to throw in some trees and some bushes just to, uh, just to make the area look a little bit more alive, I suppose. So something like there, and, uh, we can throw something there as well, and maybe in that spot with a bush there as well. Again, just to, uh, make it look a little bit more alive and as we can see i mean there's a lot of people going around here and using the parking lots i'm also thinking it might not be a bad idea to do one last little bit of uh moving it here to just make this look a little bit better like does that yeah that doesn't really connect though i wanted it to so if we just move that in a little bit to about there and then grab this one and go the whole way along Right up to about there. See, that just nicely goes along there and gives the pedestrians somewhere to walk. But what I can do is connect from there into there, so it actually connects in the corners of those paths. And uh, that might actually get used. That might, might, might actually get used. We can even go to road guidelines here and have a path go like that, so people can walk straight through. And a path go like that, again, so people can walk straight through. And we might see people walking along there. Maybe. It's unlikely because we do have a footpath here already, but... That's still really cool to me. It's still really cool that we actually have people walking around this area. It actually looks like a busy airport. There's a lot of people just, I guess, waiting on taxis? No, you're going to a parking lot. Wait, you are. You are absolutely waiting on taxis. Okay. That's pretty cool. We got some planes coming in. I forgot to mention I got some custom planes. These are all made by B Squigglehausen. I had these all I was subscribed to all of these for quite a while. I've just re-enabled them because I think they look awesome. Uh, so a bunch of planes coming in, bunch of people using the airport. Which is exactly what we want. So we finally got our parking lots for the airport. I could throw a few more in, which I'm kind of tempted to do because these spaces along here are looking a little bit empty so let's do it there we go i think this looks pretty neat we've got a whole bunch of parking lots along this road bunch of trees just to fill in some of the grassy areas and a bunch of people walking around the airport making it look properly busy i think this is probably done uh apparently i've messed up one of the, pa the pathways just here though which isn't great, but I'll come back to that. Also got an area in here to fill up, so let's just do that real quick. We'll get a tree there and a tree just there. Uh, maybe another one there as well. With a nice big bush on that side, that side, and there as well. With a few small ones just there. There we go. That'll do the job. I think the airport is pretty much done, to be honest. We are going to need to get a few more details in there eventually, but... Oh, I'm so happy with it. I also love seeing all of the traffic sort of merging onto these roads properly. That's that's a really cool thing to see. And then these highways getting to be kind of busy. I'm actually wondering, is the city handling that okay? Because I kind of have my doubts. It actually looks like, where are you guys going? Are you leaving? Yeah, most of these people are actually driving out of the city. Now, this is bad. This traffic trying to get in most of the garbage trucks, because that's probably causing a... No, actually, I was going to say it's causing a death wave, but it doesn't look like it is. 
which is also kind of surprising. So that's kind of nice. Also seeing traffic just leaving the city is kind of nice too. I guess this is just... I guess it's just working. I mean, over here as well doesn't have any tailbacks currently, which is great news. So that's kind of perfect. In here is tailing back into the city. That's traffic trying to get into the industrial zone. Which isn't great, but that's better than all the traffic tailing back through the industrial zone onto the highway. So we've got that going for us. So I guess we should get started in these new areas, huh? We should probably get started uh, trying to make those work with the the rest of the city. I'm also thinking I might do some small hills here to sort of separate the airport from everything else. So let's just play around with that idea a little bit. Bring the brush size up. Go for that one. Bring the strength way down. Bring the size up a little bit more. I think that'll do. Maybe a tad smaller. So something like that. Now we'll just do some like gentle little little hills out here. Just ever so slightly raise this up. We can toy around with the brush size in just a moment. But just something to sort of separate the airport from everything else. I know having hills right beside the airport is not the safest thing in the world, but it's just it's just a little something. It's a little something just to make this uh just to separate the areas is is basically what we're going for. So just raise this up a little more, just through the middle there. And I think at this point I could probably just go ahead and start smoothing it out. I think we're probably good to start doing that. So bring the brush way up, bring the strength way, way down. Go for the smooth tool and just ever so slightly click along there. I think this bit at the end could be a bit smoother, there we go. And just all through there. Just smoothing that all out a little bit. Just to have some very, very gentle hills just there. So it's barely noticeable. It is barely noticeable, but it is enough of a separation between the airport and the city, I think, to be like a, a natural barrier between the two. So that'll do the job. I guess we'll get started in zoning. So we'll go for this area first. I would like to get something there. I feel like that's going to be a really empty area if we don't. Maybe a couple of level crossings in there just to get some zoning on the other side of the train tracks. That might be the way to go. I guess we'll see. Uh, we could actually bring this road along. I think that could be a decent enough idea. Can I take it under there? I totally can as well. Okay. I think this road's probably going to be a, a consistent thing. So let's just bring it right up to... Uh, turn off guidelines real quick. Bring it up to there. I think that'll be fine. That'll get us some decent zoning in there. And then I think bring a little bit of avenue in here. A little bit of a tree-lined avenue because we're feeling fancy. And just outline all of this the way we usually do. So something like this coming down to there. That bit's not going to line up well, though, which is kind of an issue. Uh, maybe we do this. Have a really small sort of looping road there. I think that'll be fine. I think that'll work. Let's just turn that into a one-way road because I'm awkward. So do that kind of thing and do that. So traffic kind of has to go around that to get onto this road, which I don't know why it would have to do that. It just does. It's, it's that simple. It just does, all right? deal with it. Uh, why does that not have zoning there? That's odd. And apparently garbage is piling up, which I am not very happy about, but we'll deal with that in a second. Let me just smooth this out. And run a another section of one-way road there. What is up with that zoning? Oh, it doesn't line up properly. That's what's up with it. Okay. I mean, I guess that's fair enough. It's going to make for a bit of an awkward area, but... It'll do. I guess. I guess it'll do. Uh, maybe bring a little bit of zoning in there just to fill up that corner. And a little bit of zoning just to fill up that space as well. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. Uh, this space too could use a little something. So use Anarchy to bring a road right up to there. 
And maybe in here as well could use something. So up to about there. And I think that'll do for that space. I do think, though, that it might not be a bad idea to have a road come off of here and go to there. Although that technically probably should be an avenue. So let's just turn that bit into one. And then we can continue that straight across to uh, that general direction. Just so that this industrial space has another connection to out there. Not that it's going to get used, because they're already not using this road, but you get the point. Speaking of which, what are we going to... What are we going to do here for these areas? Because, I, I mean, we have demand for commercial and industry, but I don't want to just throw a bunch more industry out here. At least I don't think I do. Maybe I do. Maybe I do want to throw more industry in there. Might not be a terrible idea. Um, maybe that's what this area could be. Maybe we just make another giant industrial zone. That could technically work. And putting it by the airport wouldn't be the worst idea in the world, so, uh... Yeah, let's, let's give that a shot, I suppose. Let's try renovating in a giant industrial zone here. I'm just gonna tear all of this out and see what I can do. So goodbye to... All of these buildings, all of which serve some purpose or other. Especially those, uh... <laughs> especially those recycling centers, those are kinda useful. I don't think I have anything else in there that I urgently need to bulldoze. So let's just go through and get all of these out of there. And I think what I'll do is I'm basically going to line this area with offices and sort of shield the city. Shield their eyes from the industry is, is basically what I'm thinking. So let's see what we can do here. Um, I do want this road to go like this. So it's going to nicely line everything. There's going to be a road in the inside that goes around everything. So just... Oh, that's going to be awkward. Uh, why did I have to do a curve? Why, why did I have to do a curve? I had to get fancy. I had to get fancy, didn't I? Turn on these guidelines real quick and see if I can match it. So go to there and there. Oh, that actually worked really well. And it even looks fancier because of it. So, there you go. I'm kind of glad I did the curve knot. Uh, as for this bit, we're going to have this go right up to there. Just so we can, you know, match it along the highway. Uh, I kind of want to do the same here. Just again, so we can get that uh, all to line up nicely. So, to there and there. That kind of works. Then this needs to... This is probably just going to line up at a, at a right angle. I don't think matching that curve is going to be a... I don't think that's going to be the, the best thing to do there. So that kind of works. Alright, let's get the rest of these buildings out of here so I can see what I'm working with. Okay, so this is what we're working with thus far. I'm going for this sort of style here with the little areas so that all of the traffic's sort of going to one particular zone. Obviously, outlined everything with offices as well, just to sort of, like I said, shield the eyes of the city from the industry. Uh, I'm not really sure how to fill up the rest of this space, though. That's kind of the tricky thing. Uh, I mean, I could, I guess, do this sort of thing to make it a little easier so that we have that zoning on the inside. I'm thinking we don't technically need these roads here, but I kind of want to keep them just to give traffic some options. Uh, we could go up to about there and do this sort of thing. We could technically do the same here, even if the zoning goes a little bit weird on that one. And we could do the same down here as well. Again, just to uh, fill up a little bit more space. As for the rest of it, though, that's the tricky part. I guess I guess that kind of thing works, and I guess we're going to have some awkward gaps in here, but whatever. Um, so do that, I guess, and that'll fill up more space. Over here fills up a bit as well. 
Let me get rid of that one. Just do this instead. So we have that awkward space in the middle. I don't mind having a bit of extra space. I don't think that's the worst thing in the world. So I don't think... I don't think this is too much trouble at all. Um, it would be nice, though, to maybe get another curving road there. I think that's something I'd like to do. So if I can get that to line up there, I can technically bulldoze that. And if I line it up with that road, that curve doesn't match, though. Oh, it's because I need to line it up with there instead. Okay. So that lines up kind of well. Then in here, do that sort of thing. And I don't know what to do for this bit. Let me just connect them like that. So those areas are no longer as isolated as I want th wanted them to be, but they're still somewhat isolated. I guess it kind of works. It's not the prettiest use of space, but... Again, it kind of works. I think I'll get rid of those roads. I think I'll get rid of uh, that one and that one as well. Maybe bring that straight down, get rid of you. I think that works. I do, I do think that works. It's a bit weird looking. But I like it, and that's going to be sort of the core of our industry. So let's get more recycling plants in here, which are hopefully going to work, and hopefully not going to cause too many issues. I think I'll try and I'll try and spread them out a little bit, actually. So put one over there. We'll put one down there as well. I know these ones are kind of in a cluster, so I'm just going to move those a little bit. We'll put one there as well. And we'll move this one to that corner. So those are still kind of in a cluster, but they're better than they were, which is kind of what we're going for. So let's go ahead and get some industry in there. Not that we desperately need a huge amount of industry, but we'll throw some in just to uh, make up for what we deleted. So we'll do... I think we'll just fill up the whole thing. Fill up the whole thing and let it just build. So there we go. That's probably going to be a nightmare. That's probably going to pollute like crazy, but it'll do. Uh, let's get a fire station in there, right and central. Maybe a large police station just behind it as well for a bit of coverage. And I'm thinking over here, this could be a commercial zone. And could also be a continuation of... I was going to say a continuation of Wood Square, but I don't think it will be. I think, if anything, Wood Square is no longer going to be there. And instead, this is going to be a new district. Okay, so we have Madison Hills, which has a nice bit of zoning in it. Some offices, some houses, some commercial. We also got some more stuff along here, which I'm quite excited about. And this is the zoning over in the new industrial area. Which I'm also kind of excited about. So let's go ahead and run the simulation and see how this ends up going. Obviously, this whole area over here is going to be uh, completely demolished. Since we don't really need it anymore. But this area in here, I'm kind of looking forward to. I'm also thinking it might be an idea while that's uh, going ahead there to get rid of these districts. Uh, and get rid of these roads here. Since we don't really need them. Uh, also bulldoze the power lines there, because we don't need those either. Bulldoze you. And just clear out all of this, because we just don't need it anymore. There we go. So all of that can go uh, bye bye And we do need to get power to you guys. So, let's go from there to... How's this going to work? Uh... Yeah, it's going to be slightly tricky. I guess to there it could work. If something ends up building in that space, which it will. Have, there we go. That was actually really, really easy. But that didn't give them a power connection. Of course it didn't. Of course it didn't. All right. I mean, fair enough. Uh, can we get a metro line out here? We could actually go with that line. The line that's uh, going out to the airport. But I don't think that's much of an idea. 
But, I mean, this one, this one here, the green line in there could technically go out that way. We could technically, like, branch off of it and... Well, I feel like that goes into... Well, maybe High Heights goes into Madison Hills. So it sort of comes up and over. That might be the way to go. Then this one does go into the new industrial zone. I don't know. We'll figure out this industrial zone shortly. We'll have a look at it. What I'm interested in is seeing how it deals with traffic. That's that's kind of where I'm going here. I'm also thinking you can probably be disconnected at this point because you're not actually going anywhere. Wait, does that mean the airport doesn't have power? No, the airport does have power. But this... How does the airport have power? Uh... That is the question. Okay. Not entirely sure how the airport's getting power, but all right. Maybe just bring that to there and raise it up a bit and take it over to there just to make sure that the airport actually keeps its power. And again, we'll just watch the industrial zone and see how that goes. Uh, now, speaking of industry, yeah, 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 there's a lot of traffic trying to get out of there. Speaking of industry, I did get one new asset that I'm kind of curious about, which is this one, the freight terminal. So I'm going to go ahead and place it there because it just looks better than the one we have. So we're going to just delete that. We're going to come down here and we're going to delete you. And I want the freight terminal because it just looks better for a downtown area. It just looks a lot better. It looks the part. It looks like, uh... It looks like it should be there. It doesn't have shipping containers, for one, which is kind of a big deal. It just it just looks more like a downtown freight terminal, which is kind of what we're going for. So that's kind of nice. We got that. I do think we could throw another freight terminal into this area. We could throw a freight terminal out by the airport. That could look kind of interesting, and also kind of makes sense. Question is, I I guess I'd have to put it... Put it over here? Is that a thing we want to do? Is that a thing I want to do here? If I, if I was to put it... There. I kind of do, actually. I think that looks kind of cool. If we were to, like, shift it along a bit, we could have freight coming into the airport. Which... Makes sense to a degree. But I don't think this is the right type of terminal, so I don't think we'll bother with that. I think we'll just leave it. I think the airport's had enough work today at this point. Oh, this makes me so happy to see. There's so much traffic going up and down this highway now because of the airport being so busy. And there's so many people that want to go up there because of technically tourism and technically the parking lots. But that's still really cool. That is, that is still really cool to see. I love seeing a, a properly busy airport. I'm wondering, actually, is anyone waiting on the buses? I guess not really. But, I mean... No, that one's getting no use at all. Yeah, people would much rather use the Metro, which... Let's be real, kind of makes sense. But, uh... It's still slightly disappointing. I'm also still slightly... I'm, I'm slightly disappointed to see these aren't getting much love. So I think we might want to... I think we will get rid of these as, like, our last thing to do. I know I literally just said that the airport has had enough love for today, but... I just... I can't quit my parking lots. I just can't do it. I'm sorry. I, I just... I just can't. So... What are we gonna do here? Big old parking lot like that? Nah. I don't think that works. I really am thinking we throw in a, uh... I think one of these could be a good... Good addition to the area um so something like something like that i think we'll throw the freight terminal there which gives us a little bit of space in here for one of these guys multi-story which blocks off the train tracks from back there which i think looks all right so now the question is how do we actually connect this to everything because technically no i i really doubt any freight trains are going to come out here i really really do but at the same time, if they do, we want them to be able to do it properly. So, have this come straight out to there. And then maybe... I mean, what distance are we looking at here? If I was to use a road, 
this would be $480. So we come out of there for $480, which is there. And we want to go that way. So we want the train line to connect to the road. Nice and easy does it. So something like that will do. And the train line goes straight on like this. And somehow it needs to get over there. That's the problem. Somehow I need the train lines to meet. And I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that. I legit have no idea. Oh boy. Um, maybe it doesn't go to the city. Maybe we sort of bring it through all of this and connect it over here. It is technically an option, but that seems a little bit much. That really seems like a little bit much. So, maybe instead, we come back a bit. Just like that. And what we'll do is we're going to bring a road from here straight across. Straight to there. Connect the train line, and we're going to raise this up in the same way that we did before, going up very, very slowly. So 10 and up, 10 and up, 10 and up. Then I think it went on for another 10, roughly. I need to turn off these guidelines for a second. They're absolutely killing me here. So something like that. This bit's a bit nasty, but we'll fix that. Uh, and then I need it to connect, pretty much. I don't even know where the slope is here, though, so that's making things kind of tricky. Uh, let's see. I think that's where the slope ends, right? Like, that's the end of the slope. So if I go like that and start sloping up, I should be able to make this work. Okay, I think, I think that'll do. We've got our freight terminal. I think it looks pretty good. We've got a multi-story between it and the airport. Uh, we have Move It still on, which I would like to turn off real quick. We also have the grid line showing up. There we go. We have our multi-story. Multi -story. We have our freight terminal. We have the airport terminal. This bit, little bit back here is uh, hidden well enough. I could do better, but we'll get that next time, I think. This is all connected up. This bit's still kind of nasty, but we'll come back to that eventually. So this runs over, and at this point, we can have freight deliveries to the airport. Not that I think we ever will, but that is a thing that can be done. Uh, we have our freight trains here as well, still doing their thing. Obviously, traffic is... Well, there's a lot of it. There is, there is absolutely a lot of it. I'm kind of thinking it might not be a bad idea to try and push that traffic elsewhere. Uh, or maybe we just turn off traffic lights, because I think, to be honest, the industrial traffic is really the only traffic going through that area. There's not a lot of other traffic, so just letting it move probably isn't going to hurt. Uh, I would genuinely, though, be very surprised to ever see a freight train go out to the airport. I, <laughs> For a second, I thought that one was going to. I was going to say, yeah, you just do that to spite me. That's what you're doing right there. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't think we'll ever see one go out there. I think this just looks pretty good out here. But we'll see. Maybe one day a freight train will come out this way. And maybe one day I'll actually connect up the passenger train terminal. Not that I think it will ever really get used. Either way, ladies and gents, I think we're going to leave it there for today. I'm super happy with the parking lots. I'm super happy with these new areas. They have a lot of growing to do, though, so that's gonna take a while. But yeah, I think next time what we can do is maybe look towards getting some more unique buildings into the city center. I think I will put a little bit of a focus eventually on getting some of these guys and eventually on, uh, on unlocking some more of the other unique buildings, the monuments, uh, and all that kind of stuff. I think I have them all unlocked on my other recording PC. I'm still on the one in Sweden that I talked about last episode. Uh, but I, you know, I kind of like the challenge of maybe trying to get more of them. Also, of course, there are trees on fire. Yeah, that's something I totally forgot. I totally forgot to throw in these guys. I wanted to get the, uh, the heliports and all that stuff. I guess we'll do that next time. 
Either way, ladies and gentlemen, thank you kindly for watching. This has been City Skylines Green Cities Part 17, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.